Time for another league with Amulet. Still no idea. <laughs> Just <laughs> four leagues in, still no idea whether this card is even remotely close to playable. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's challenge some nerds, shall we? Let's do it. Round number one of this new league. Let's see what's up. We're on the play. We have turn three Dryad, not turn four Titan, because we need another on top land in order to have turn four Titan. Uh, I kind of want to ship this, if I'm being honest with you. I think we can do better than this. Yeah, this is actually better than that. Um, turn one, turn two. So we just bottom the Asusa here. I think so. I think we gotta ship. We gotta ship the Asusa here. Gobbo. It's been a while since I played a Goblin Guide. Played against a Goblin Guide. Amulet. So unlucky. Yes. 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 Grazer boy. Grazer Boy is here. So unlucky. So unlucky. It's crazy, right? How can somebody be so unlucky and so lucky at the same time? Two mana, sea replace, got me. Ursa Saga, play that. Play this. Radiant Fountain and just get a second Falakut. Just get a Tolerio West. This is garbage time. My opponent can't win from here. So. <laughs> Players hate this one. Is it tricky? Yeah, I know. Just, <laughs> just stop the grazer. <laughs> like I was saying, fanatic of food. Ah, sí, gracias. Gracias, me la chote. Por fin salimos campeones, carajo. Por fin salimos campeones. Uff. Second Grazer. It's so cute and everything, but... It's so cute and everything, but you're, you're dead, opponent. You're dead. Can I please kill you? Just just F6. Please. <laughs> Spaz the turn. You're dead. Just let me kill you. La mano de Dios. Si, papa. Oops. Uh, whoop. I didn't want to do that. This is, this is Gab's fault, okay? This was Gab's fault. My opponent, my opponent saw the right on the wall, which apparently they hadn't seen before, but... Uh, all right, so we're playing against Burn. El Burno. Should give up magic for comedy. Much better to be sarcastic than at playing. <laughs> Is this comment sarcastic? 
Can it come and be sarcastic and great at the following time at the same time? Yes. Did you were you cheering for somebody, Gab, this past weekend? It was it was a good weekend. It was a good weekend. Italy winning the Euro and Argentina winning the the Copa America. You were cheering for Italy? Okay. No no Argentina or Brazil. No Argentina nor Brazil. Brutal. Not a PK anymore. Just feel bad for whoever was gonna lose. Yeah. I honestly I don't know. Like I mean I guess it has to end somehow, you know, but like yeah, penalty kicks is just such a shitty way to win to win the match. Particularly because oftentimes it means that the match was like super close. So just like having to end it like that. And in the Copa America, like when, when Argentina played against Colombia, it it wasn't even like extra time. It was just went straight to penalties. And I'm just I'm just sitting there like why why is this a thing? Um this hand is not a keep though. Uh, it's a nice poker hand, but is this good enough to beat Burn? Probably not. We don't even have a bounce land, don't have a Titan. Ugh. Vomit. We're talking about the soccer match? Yes, yes we are. And we can't really go lower than four, so. I think this is what we're doing. It used to be 15 minutes extra time. It, it used to be like two extra 15 minute times. And then like this, for whatever reason here, it was like straight to penalty kicks. And I was very confused about that fact because, you know, always it used to be the other way around. That was a good draw though. Um, so I was like kind of expecting to to be going to like the, the first extra time and then they're just like going into the into the penalty kick kind of area and I'm just like, wait, wait, what, what are we doing? What are we doing here? <laughs> what happened? Can I get a two year summer in GCM? No, <laughs> you can't. Too much shit happened. I don't even remember what happened. Too many cards got printed, too many cards got banned. The matchup changed too much. What you need to know is we're playing Valakut and Dryad and it's very good. Like playing Valakut and Dryad is very good. Not that Amulet is very good. Like Amulet is okay. It is not like insane or anything. This, please, if you if you're a burn player, if you're a burn player, do yourself a favor, improve your win rate, and do not bring in path to exile against Amulet. We we just saw exactly what happened. There there was no way I could have won this game if my opponent didn't have path to exile because I'm I'm basically forced to block this thing. But now my opponent gave me a Titan one turn ahead. One turn in advance, and if my opponent had had a lightning bolt, they would they would be in better shape. Uh, I guess I want to haste. So since I want to haste, I don't want to bounce the saga, and I don't want to bounce this, so I'm just gonna bounce the basic forest. We need to find a green source. Otherwise, we lose to our pact, so that wouldn't be. That would not be particularly smart. So, getting there. And we're gonna do Radium Fountain and Castle Garenbrig. Is Castle the, the best option we got? We have a bounce in hand already. Yeah, I think Castle's, Castle's good. No need to play the explosives. We can even play play through an idol on without taking damage. 
We are Titan if they don't get it. No, but I'm saying like if they ca if they I have to block the the Swift Spear, otherwise I just I can potentially take lethal, and then uh, they bolt the Dryad and like they're super far ahead. Have I tried the newest Elementals lift with grief? No, I have not. There you go. Good stuff. Let's see you for the next round. All right. Round number two is here. Have I considered cover number two? Yes, I have. Ship this. Probably keep this. Send Valakut. Cyber, yeah, I've, I've played Cavern in the Cyber in the past. I just don't think it's worth playing right now, really. I'd lock your monkey, lock the monkey. Consider second cavern? Yes, I think second cavern is a consideration. I like other cards instead. <laughs> Again, I'm trying cards here, right? This I'm trying out. This I'm obviously trying out. <laughs> like I, uh, what I would say is written in stone are at least two endurances, this, this, I, I want two forces at least. I really want to have access to the third one. And Ghost Quarter, Piedin Needle, and the second explosives. Everything else, you can do whatever you want. I, I, I would even see not playing any Bojuki box, but I think you have to, kind of have to. Last time I played Amulet, I had four once upon a time. Uh, well, I mean, it since once upon a time, like Field of the Dead was printed. Uh, I guess not. Field was pre once upon a time, so Field got banned. Like, just some shit happened, but... Explore, play this, play this name Giant. We still get to make a token here, which is pretty nice. We even have the Gracer to feed to the Croxa, which is nice. I'm gonna play Bog Main. I would basically never ever cut Radiant Fountain. Like, there, there's no metagame where I would cut Radiant Fountain from the main deck. Out of all of the utility lands, Radiant Fountain is far and away the most flexible and the one that has the most um, random scenarios where it's great. Land easy, so easy. So they don't have unholy heat, but um, I think that people have started playing um, terminates in the main deck. They probably have K command. I would assume. Yeah, that's what they have. What about Rain of Gore meta? <laughs> I still probably keep Radiant Fountains in a Rain of Gore meta. Yeah, I, I do agree that Bog is pretty good. But it's not like, you know, game breaking or anything. It's just good. Discard a card, destroy artifact. Here's my Titan. So 
We packed it for this, guys. I think I'm just going to get Double Saga here. Well, if they have Terminate, <clears throat> it's pretty bad news for us. But if they don't have Terminate exactly this turn, then we're probably going to win fairly easily from here. And they don't have the Terminate. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the Void Walker is pretty good against us. No arguments here. The Void Walker is pretty, pretty good. Um... I think I've been cutting the gracers, cutting one of these. One explore and one Asusa. I think this is what I've been doing. I think this is what I've been doing. At least what I did the last league because I have chalices now, which under normal circumstances I wouldn't have. Well, this this hand just saddens me. This hand also saddens me. So I'll keep this one. Endurance is almost good enough for one slot in main. Um, I don't know that I would go that far. Like, it's good. But... You need to be really fucking good in order to be warranted a, a main deck slot in Amulet, of Vigor, in Amulet Titan. And, or, or, like, you need to be, like, engineered explosives, and there needs to be a meta where explosives is good, like the one that we're currently living in. That's Primeval Titan. What the heck is endurance is this card? Bob? Opponent has Bob? God damn it. And they reveal a second Bob? Oh, I can never win this game. Am I playing Lair of the Hydra? I literally have no idea what that is. No idea whatsoever. Uh, yeah, we lose. The green D and D land. Oh yeah, no, I'm not playing that. It really takes a lot for for a card to be better than for a card to be better than um, basic forest in this deck. Damn it. I have to draw a bounce land, I think. So that's the plan. Drawing bounce land. Because it's the only way that I can just make enough. Okay, that's the thought sees. Maybe the blue one is okay. I mean, it can they can be good. I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about them being good enough to be playing in this deck. And they're not.
How about just not move to five, maybe? What are you talking about, Mac or Mark? Did I miss something in chat earlier? Maybe I did. Shit, man, this this hands are just heinous. I'm probably gonna keep this one because I can't just mulligan willy nilly again. Uh, but like these are these are heinous hands. So this saga probably is gonna have to go find a bounce land, I guess. Take the Dryad. We really need to dodge Alpine Moon for what, by the way. If Ubony has Alpine Moon, we're just super dead. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Explosives of the top. Hey. We'll lose to Thoughtseize, Dothy Boy Walker anyway, so I'm not I'm not gonna play around that. It's gonna try to play against what I can beat. Right. See you for the next round. Here for round number three. Finally, a reasonable hand. Jeez. Took us long enough. Giant. Play my amulet, say go. Next turn we can play amulet. I'm not even sure that I want to play the expedition map, honestly. <laughs> Poor Borgo. <laughs> New spiciness, exclamation point deck list. Oh, we might just be dead. Are we dead? Grazer. Grazer of the top. You know what? I'll take that one too. Why do we need main, bo main deck bolts? Look at that. We can just stop deck the dryad and it's, it's fine. We just blocked. What's the big deal? What's up, Evan? How you doing, man? Here's my Dryad. Uh, we're one minute short of tightening, so I'm just gonna play the Expedition map, and I'm just gonna play this. Wooded Foothill Stabbed, Seagull. Have I considered main deck Mons, Goblin, Raiders, or Taitok? Yes. We got some hot to topics to talk about today. I feel like there are some pretty hot topics. There are some pretty hot topics. I want to talk about a uh, hammer. I know Spider is definitely going to have a bunch of things to say about hammer. I want uh, for us to talk about um, how amulet sucks. A um, bunch of things to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Block. Mm -hmm. 
Best cyber card for the amulet mirror. That's wildly specific. Uh, Force of Vigor, probably. I could crack map here, but I want all my cards to remain in my deck. How can somebody be this good and so handsome at the same time? That's what I wonder sometimes. Imagine be, being as good as at magic as I am and also being as handsome as I am. <sighs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Completely uns absurd. Un- Reasonable. Absolutely unreasonable. Oh, that that you do remember, Scrotes, huh? <laughs> that you do remember. God damn it. Main day Blood Moons for the mirror. I have played Blood Moons in my sideboard when I played uh, Mimulet. Incoming Spell Pierce. We win anyway. We go fetch breeding pool tapped. Spell beers. Oh no. But Fran, you don't have the mana. You don't have the mana to cast the Titan, you're gonna die to your own summoner's pact. Oh, 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 fear not, fellow amulet lover. Fear not, for double amulet is here. Fear not, for double amulet is here. We done here? We're not done. The top deck dryad was pretty good, huh? That top deck dryad though, it was pretty good. To us, pretty good indeed. This is still a heinous matchup for what's worth, huh? This is still a heinous matchup, so like, I'm kind of getting away with murder here. F6 opponent, come on. <laughs> let me let me do the thing and we can move on to the next game. I'm still ahead of clock. I'm still ahead on clock. Like what what are we doing here? There, there we go. Thank you. Uh these members, yes. Chalice of the void, yes. Engineer explosives, yes. What else? Uh, Ghost quarter seems good. Python needle is kind of interesting, actually. Needle is kind of interesting because needle can name. Um, needle can name ink wolf. Force of Vigor is fine against like Spell Skite and shit like that.
Would I rather have Force or Needle? Because they do effectively the same thing. They use either names Ink Moth or um, or Spell Skite. And this gets rid of Ink Moth or Spell Skite. So they do exactly the same thing. Probably Needle because it's too durable. Endurance is a flash blocker? Nah, that's just too cute. Infect, dude. Like everybody's playing bolts, removal, and, and shit, but my opponent's playing infect. What a brave soul. What a brave soul. Hmm. <laughs> Gonna have to ship this, unfortunately. This is a lot better. Sand is pretty gross, actually. Just has a little bit of everything I want. Wild Defiance, dude. I, I have played against Wild Defiance. I think I'm, we, we probably play the Saga here, actually, huh? It's worse against Nature Slam. That's probably fine though. But this means that now I get to Titan on three. This link be on YouTube. I want to see send it to my friend who's an infect player. Uh, yeah, it will be on YouTube. Everything gets uploaded to YouTube the day after. So tomorrow at four p.m. ish PST, both leagues will be will be up there. Yeah, that thing's dead. Your shit's dead right now. There's no way they're playing force. Submarine Arrow is the right choice with Infect. Uh, this is a very good matchup for them. And considering they were already running main deck spell pierces, I honestly don't know what they would want to bring in. That's a funny one. I mean, if they have something like this info stroke, we're we're gonna be really really sad right now. But I'm, I don't think I'm playing around this info stroke. Aether gust, maybe. Okay, so this is resolved. So what I'm gonna do, I think, because if I go for haste, my opponent can Vines of Vaswood, my primeval titan, countering the Boros Garrison haste trigger. I am tapped out and then I die. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Squatter plus Growth Chamber. And now we get to Chalice for one and we call up Ghost Squatter for the Igmoth. Because I don't think my opponent has any... I like, double this member. That's like my opponent's out to... <clears throat> to kill this primeval titan. Each claim they bring in is not an infect creature, pump spell, or protection. Like, is Cyber even good against Tamilly with infect? Honest question. Uh, I don't know. I'm not an infect player. Couldn't tell you because I don't know what their list looks like and I don't know what they want and what they don't want.
truly ruined this Infect player's day? Pro possibly. I'm not too upset though, they're playing Infect, so... It's really tough to feel any compassion for an Infect player. Should I say like you say 80% of the deck? I know they play Force now. Uh, that... I mean, I guess they could still have Force, but... <laughs> See you for the next round. Welcome to round number four. I am fairly certain that thrice um, is spelled with an H in there, but who am I to say? The Zen is slow and it's also missing a bounce land. This hand is just unkeepable. <laughs> oh, my opponent says that they are sap about on chat and also an amulet. Um, yeah, well, now that we know that we're playing against Amulet, like, it's a lot easier to just let these hands go. Um, turn one. Turn two. I think we do this. Um, we want to go turn one saga because we want the, we want the amulet to show up on turn three, so we can do our thingy. Oh, his hand seems to be better than ours. Yep. Oh, his hand is a lot better than ours. Yep. <laughs> OP's hand is a lot better than ours. How can they win with those forests? I have seen prettier forests, I'll tell you. That's also not my primeval titan of choice, but it will do. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. <laughs> Probably do not want broken wings. Chalice on six, on six. That's the dream. That's the dream. God damn it, Castle. You're so awkward sometimes. I think this is this is keepable though. Coves we can go, turn one saga. Say go, turn to um, probably castle, turn three, it's not a titan, but, Ugh, well now it's definitely not a titan. Interesting. Interesting. Wait, did I have Titan Mana there? 
Because he can back for a Susa. I mean, I, I don't want to back for a Susa. That's kind of like the thing. Well, this game went a lot better than the previous one, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, back for us was his idea. I, I, that's what I thought. I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot that I had it backed in my hand. Didn't matter. Now we're on the draw, though. Changes, changes, changes. There's no way Broken, Broken Wings plays. If Titan flies, maybe I would ring in Broken Wings, but... Uh, ooh. Well, I can fuck with this. So this is a turn two. Can we please not get forced? Spider-Man meme, right? Spider-Man meme. Oh, shit. Well. <laughs> um. My opponent and I had exactly the same fucking hand. It's hilarious. Um, oh, whoops. Okay. Um, Titan or bust? Ugh. The last card in hand is a Titan. Sick, we win. Awesome. Winning is great. Uh, yeah, this was a this was an interesting amulet mirror. Funny how like I went through three amulets, my opponent went through all four of their amulets. <laughs> Saga, no, no. Saga is, is just completely absurd, man. Like, <laughs> both of us drew a force, uh, but my opponent pitched their prime time to the force earlier in the game. So that's that was the difference. That was funny. All right, see you for the last round. All right, last round. Um, I mean, we're missing a Titan, but like, we can find Saga finds us a Titan. And we have double amulet, so we have like virtually infinite mana, so.
We also have a dryer, which is nice. Growth chamber um, actually gives me transmute mana thanks to the double amulet. Lots to like about this hand. And there it goes. <laughs> Lots to like about this hand, and there it goes. Is this foil or not? Also, can we talk about how shitty it is, uh, the, the shiny effect on MTGO? Why do we have that? Why do cars have to have the shiny little thingy? Like, it looks so much cleaner when you have this, like this. Stoneforge. Just go with your card draw opponent. I know that's what you're getting. I don't think I've ever seen a game where you see GQ matter on the mirror. Uh, no, it does matter. It does matter. Wait. Why would they? Why? Why batter school? Oh, you just didn't know when to use it. Uh, I mean, you have to kind of like get in, into your opponent's head, kind of thing, you know. Try to figure out what is uh... uh this sucks to do, but I think it's worth it. I'm gonna cycle on there and step, however. Oh, they may have Kaldra already in hand, so they are just like getting Batter Skull. But it, but if if that were the case, they should have gotten like Sword of Fire, nice. Ha! My hand sucks, opponent. Jokes on you. Nope. I'm just trying to. Whole bunch of nothing. But here's an Asus, I guess. <laughs> Enabling revolt, that's good. Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. If we draw a titan, we win. <clears throat> Three, four, six. Uh, yeah, we, we can double titan them. Shambly vent. <laughs> yeah, thoughts is away, opponent. Thoughts is away. Titan. I think I want to hide the info. Um, no, I should. I should have played the Sun Home. Actually, I should have played the Sun Home. Yeah, I should have played Sun Home. That was a mistake. Um, because the, the the game is over next turn regardless, right? Because I'm at five. So that being the case, the information just doesn't matter. I either draw the Titan or I don't, and the information just doesn't matter whatsoever. So. All right, we had six draw steps. We never found an Esaga in time, nor a Titan, so we just lost. 
Zelavi sometimes. Um, needle is fine. So my button does not seem to be on the whole endurance nonsense. I don't think my opponent is on the endurance nonsense. On, on the uh, grief nonsense. I mean. I'm trying to think if they, have it, they could have any flyers. Maybe an Archon? So maybe Broken Wings could be better, potentially, than Force. That's the only thing I could think of. Uh, yeah. I really want to see my face when my uh, my opponent's face when they see when they inquisition me and they see the broken wings. Super surprised by this. I would have assumed that they, I don't know, maybe they had, they had like Caldra in the sideboard at least. I understand not wanting to main deck it, but like, don't you just need to have it in the board at least? Maybe they don't old Caldra. It's like. Two or three tickets. Like they own stone forges, they own batter skull. Like this these cards are more expensive than the Caldra. <laughs> oh no, I've been passed. Um Dead. Wings have been broken. I know we had double titan here. And explosive, so even if they have something busted, probably doesn't matter. Oh, Vindicate's good. Oh yeah, Vindicate Fox. Uh... Do this. I'm doing that because I don't know whether I want to E on two or three because my body could have Ashiok. They could definitely have Ashiok. Liliana is good. Liliana doesn't matter. Kaya or Sub Usurper. Uh, zing. Now, Curb Bros with the tier one sub. Let's simulate some people. Yes, we are, Curb. Thank you so much for the continued support, my friend. 
Welcome back to the primetime stronghold. Uh, so what we want to do here, I guess, is we pack for primetime. Um, yeah, this is fine. We get Valakut and maybe another Saga? For to pay for pack, we're gonna get to make one, two, two tokens. Um, our life total doesn't matter because we're way too high of a life total. So I guess we just get Tolary West. And then play this. This plays around the Edict. If they have Guile, we also sack the token, just forcing them to lose Lily. Kind of feels like my opponent has uh, misevaluated their um, they they have mis uh, misassessed uh, who's the beat down kind of deal. Sure. Freddy forty three with the prime sub. Thank you, Val, for the nine months. So much blue red, so little amulet in the weekend challenges. Yeah, which I mean, it kind of makes a little bit of sense to be fair. One, two, three, four. Um, tokens, tokens. Just gonna ship the Vesua here. Why don't you get in there? Yep. Shamily Man is feeling frisky. So I think we're just gonna make some tokens here. Um, so first of all, we pay for Pact. Second of all, make a token, make a token. By the needle, name Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Um, yeah, because I guess Dothy doesn't matter because they have explosives, so this is fine. And now, amulet, play this. Pass the turn. Thoughtsies. You may cast that at summoner's back to point if you wish. Just doing this to not get owned by a Kaya off the top, right? Like, the game is over next turn. So it's important to not just get obliterated by something silly like a Kaya or a Vindicate and then they discard my land and I'm, and I'm in actual trouble. But as is, next turn we just transmute for a Pact and we just get another Titan, so...
Got him. Okay, so that should be game. <clears throat> hey, that's a funny one. That's a pretty funny one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So one is going to go up to twenty one. Can for some chumps. It's probably a good idea for us to force some chumps, right? We deal sixteen plus four eight. Um, paste there. Oh, they're gonna try to luck sack? They're gonna try to luck sack a path off the top of the single draw of Castle Luckwain. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's better than just, I guess that's better than just chump blocking a construct. Yeah, so that makes sense, that makes sense. All right, yeah, that, that was a tight play from OP. I, ha I haven't honestly considered that. Okay. Um, These explosives are looking better and better the more that I the more that I play this matchup. Grace is also interesting when my opponent has multiple edict effects. Uh, this hand's fine. She's probably gonna get get got somehow, but Spreading pool. Not bad. It's a really, really good one to have access to. And I'm playing the white because I'm playing around uh, Vindicate. Like, Vindicate is just so bad for us here, but I don't think there, I mean, there's nothing we can really do, so kind of is what it is. But Vindicate just overall is just great against us, so. Yeah. Sadness goes on the stack. Still not sure what we want to eat also. Probably Liana. Lingering souls. Dry Rasusa. It's neither of those cards. Oh, I had. Hmm. No, this is fine. Let's please not get raised by some stupid spirits. Ugh. There it goes, this member. EE off the top one time. Clean it up. EE. -E. 
dry it. We take those It's just that easy. Yeah, it is. I might just take him four here. Because if I take four, then my opponent... No, but I want my opponent to, to spend their turn uh, casting another Lingering Soul. So we just, we just sweep it up. If they have another Souls, that's fine. Kaya. Sure. Saga's legit. So maybe they have a Lily in hand? Is that what's up? Vindicate, no. No Vindicate. Torak? Oh no! <sighs> Dodged. <laughs> Woo! Dodged like a champion. Another saga. So I wouldn't be surprised if my opponent has an e egg effect, but really too much I can do about it, so I'm just gonna do the thing. Do the thing we do. Um, life total not too relevant. So we just stronghold. Stronghold's pretty sick. Oh, I should've gotten a second Valakid, that would've been better. Yeah, second Valakid would've been better. Because I'm thinking of transmuting this coming turn. One, two, three, four. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have an amulet in play because Saga is popping off. So we're good. Damn. Clothes has been watching over us. Yeah, Clothes has been has been working overtime, honestly. So, one, two, three to transmute. Get an amulet. Play this. Transmute. That's funny. I hadn't thought about that. That's awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the Boros is gone, but we still have... Still got some action going on here. Uh, bounce one of these. Okay, wanna kill the Kaya, make sure that doesn't mess with us. Uh, another T-West and another Saga. Um, oh, I actually, I actually messed this up. Um, I can get destroyed by Damping Sphere here. I got a little bit hasty. I should have gotten um, just a green source. Like I already have a saga, like I don't need another one. And now we just straight up lose to Damping Sphere because I was careless. That was a mistake. Not punished. Unpunished mistake, but a mistake nonetheless. I should know better. I should know better. This is not my first rodeo. Okay. 
Can you do the dance more than necklace with Ursa Saga? Um, yeah. <laughs> I did. I five out. We did it last week. <laughs> I am that good. <laughs> I am that good that I already did what you wanted me to do. So. I mean, there's really no need to get. There's no need to get got by fatal push. <laughs> there, 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 there you go. Um, but yeah, I wanted to play around fatal push, so I was. And this kind of worked out, obviously. That's I mean that that's just hilarious, but I was thinking of you know transmuting. Yes, always yes, always yes. Vesuva's gone, I think. Or was that that last game? No, that was last game. So Vesuva's still in the deck. Summoner's backed. Attack, uh, Vesuva. Sun home. One, two, and the rest of them go face. Another four on one, not bad. Eight and two in the day. Um, yeah, I mean, the list is cool. Note that we didn't get paired against any blue red matchup, right? Like our losses were to uh, were to the the red white deck that was playing main deck Magus of the Moon, and the other loss was to I don't even remember what it was. Like I we even beat Infect. Like obviously it was a very lucky league, but um, but yeah, this list seems strong. I think endurances are just awesome. Uh, oh, we lost to the red black deck. We lost one. We lost one match to the red black. Yeah, broken wings MVP. Uh, broken wing was just okay. I'm not. I'm not that sure that it's better than Beast Within, but I'm also not sure that it's worse than Beast Within. If that makes sense. Uh, I mean, three bet you play whatever you can, my friend. I don't know what we want me to tell you. <laughs> like that's the list that I played. I mean. Watch the matches and like see what see if you like it and then you know. Lots of black white deck of various flavors. Yeah, and that's kinda of like the stuff that we were happy to play against, you know. Semester of the deck, what do you think the odds are against Mark Tide? Uh, they're bad. It's not a good matchup. Hence why I'm playing, you know, draft chaff in my deck in my cyborg right because uh, i think this card could potentially be good against that matchup specifically because they attack you they attack you on two different axes that are like wildly different so if you have cards that uh, that help you against one axis of attack then uh, you may lose to the other one and vice versa um so broken wings just deals with both aspects of their of their deck Broken Wings deals with big Mork Ties and it also deals with Bloodman. It's all theory crafting. I played 25 matches, never seen a blue red deck. Not a single one. So my testing is getting moderned. Chalice was nice though. Chalice did some work today. Chalice actually did some some pretty cool work today, so can't really complain. Crees que jugar con 31 tierras es un error? No. Es muy común que post cyborg me, me baje a 31 tierras, pero o sea, quiero tener todas estas cartas en mi, en mi mazo, entonces por eso juego 32 tierras. Found the run of foul almost always is the Merc Tide, even if they have DRC since Yeah, yeah, I I, I know. I know that that uh, run of foul is, is an option, but run of foul doesn't answer blood moon. And that's kind of the issue. Like if they have if they have a Blood Moon draw and you have a run of foul rotten in your hand, you're gonna lose. And if they have a 
um, a merc type draw and you have a fucking you know like force of vigor in your hand you're also gonna lose so the whole point of this card is that it doesn't matter which kind of draw they have this deals with it it doesn't really do in, in, in it doesn't really do it in an efficient manner it just does it <laughs> it's not a great card but it gets it does what i wanted to do and it's the better the best deal that i could find Having force of plot may be better than rope. I literally just explained this. <laughs> I literally just finished explaining this. I would play run afoul before plummet. Run afoul is just like a better plummet. Um, so yeah, I would just play run afoul or um, this. I'm trying this out. I'm not sure whether it's it's good or not, but um, yeah, this looks fine. This looks fine. That's gonna be it for me today, though. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna have a special stream. We're gonna be starting off with some modern. I think I wanna try. I wanna try the lens deck a little bit more. Maybe I will be tinkering with that uh, since I did so well with it uh, this past week. Um, I will. I also will be doing a, a sponsored stream for Raid Shadow Legends. So if folks are into it, uh, make sure you you check that out. And also, you know, if you if you want to start uh, playing uh, the the game, you can also you know download it and use the link. And that would of course uh, help me out because I have like a download stream, um, a download um, an amount of downloads basically, and then that that helps me. Uh, that helps me get paid, helps me get money. So costs you nothing because the game is, of course, uh, absolutely free. And hopefully you have some fun and you you know you you get you you get to support me. And thank you to the Argentine. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm re representing today. Today we're representing. If you enjoy the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And um, if you also uh, like have something to say in the comments, make sure that you do you do so below. I always try to stay up to date with every every comment on YouTube. And uh, yeah, see you for the next stream. Take care. Bye bye.